Welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are reviewing New England Revolution nil, Toronto FC 1 and MLS 2024 Week 2. And for the first time in God knows how long, Toronto FC wins 1-0. Wow. Man, not rusty at all, baby. Not rusty at all. First away win since August of 2022. First win since the Philly game late in 2023. First goal scored in like five months. They're back. They are well and truly back. Put the word out. They're back. Wow. Nah, did they get cooked in the first half, or the second half, I should say, by the Revs, possession-wise, and where the ball was? Yeah, they did. They did. We'll get there. Goals were scored as follows. In the 28th minute, Lorenzo Insigne, golazo. Goal of the week. Lifts it into the net. Rafas couldn't get there. There was no way. He just lifts that, lost it into the net, and it's 1-0 Toronto FC. And what a way to open the account for the season for both himself and the club. <laughs> wow. And Signe got goal of the week. If he keeps doing that, I'll stop saying he should be sold to Saudi. But uh, keep doing that. Good, good. Keep doing that. 1-0, Toronto. First half, they put the ball forward. They played well forward. They had a couple of chances. Awusu, I think, got robbed. I don't think he was offside. I think it should have been 2-0. But first half looked pretty good for Toronto. They defended well. They played well forward. Second half, on the other hand, at the half, it was 0-1, Toronto. 1-0 Toronto. Second half, they let New England have the ball. They let them play the ball forward. They let them have chances. And they just defended their asses off. Like It was like, hey, I don't care if you have the ball. We're going to defend our asses off. And that's what they did. They were like, nah, we don't care. You ain't going to do nothing with this ball. We saw what you did against Independiente. You ain't going to do nothing with this ball. We ain't going to let you do nothing with this ball. They switched off five times and got scored on, counted four. And then a fifth that didn't count. You ain't gonna, we ain't gonna let you score on us, baby. We ain't like that. No. And there you go. So many last ditch tackles. So many saves. Even though Sean Johnson did a couple of things that made me like, you know what? You could have screwed us over. He didn't. It worked out. It worked out. Bounces are going our way. As I said, the more bounces that go our way, the better the season will be. And they went our way. Davey Flores again. Davey Flores again. Absolutely immense. Immense. I told you this guy is him. I told you. Well, I didn't say he was him, but I said he could play well in MLS back in 2020. No, I'm right, but it's not just he can play well in MLS. He is him. Michael Bradley was never this good. I don't care what you have to say. Prime Bradley was good. Yes. Was he ever a bulldog? A pit bull? Like Davey Flores? Hell no. In the past three, four years, he certainly... Bradley was just a chihuahua. He wasn't no pit bull or bulldog or even a Doberman. Nah, he was a chihuahua. Davey Flores is a pit bull. Dog. Man is a dog. D-A-W-G. He got that dog inside of him. Man. That's the type of signing I would have made if I was manager. John Herdman was right on the money there. There we go. There we go. What a player Davey Flores is. And he's not even man of the match this time. Lorenzo Insigne gets a goal. He's not even man of the match. Who is man of the match, pray tell, Sean Johnson? He made a lot of saves. Again, there was like two things that could have went awry. And if they did, we would have been screwed. But they did not go awry. He is man of the match. So many saves. So many great saves. I mean, yeah. There were a couple of things that made me want to pull my hair out. Less than last year, this was the Sean Johnson closer to what I know him as. What we know him as. What New York fans know him as. This was a lot closer to that. Better hell than even the start of the season, Sean Johnson, last year. And that was still pretty good. Let me tell you, man of the match, Sean Johnson, has to be. Let me see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 
I like to say that TFC, offensively, first half, they played pretty well. They defended well throughout the whole match. Esmir, quiet. Chankalai, quiet. Carles Hill, quiet. Everybody who was good was quiet. Everybody. Like, seriously, New England sucks. Even though they have all these players, again, I told you, Caleb Porter plan. I said this earlier in the week. The Caleb Porter plan. You suck for a year, you win the cup the next year, you have a lot of expectations, and you buckle the next one or two. That's where you're going. Did I do the stats? Let's do them. Full-time stats, 23 shots to 8, 6 shots on goal to 2, 64% possession to 36% possession, 658 passes to 378, 90 pass accuracy to 80%, 90% to 80%, 11 fouls, 16, 3 offside to 5, 0 yellow cards to 4, 0 red cards to 0, 11 corners to 0. Toronto, they did what they had to do. They did what they had to do. And you could say, well, damn, why couldn't they do that last year? Honestly, that's a question I got. But you know what? They did what they had to do. So amazing football. Amazing football by TFC. They did exactly what they needed to do and didn't freaking hold back. They, they played their game, and I'm so damn proud of this club. I'm so damn proud of what this club has done, what it is doing. Like, seriously, this club is just absolutely getting right back into a good position. And if they could keep doing this, three points on the road. Again, their first road win since 2022, August of 2022. And they just keep on going. Well, damn, I can't complain. Now, can I? Nobody can complain. Like, oh, I don't know about that. We'll see. It's a long season. It's only two matches in. We got 32 more to go. Plus, can champ, hopefully more than one. And hopefully more than two Leagues Cup matches, and hopefully more than zero playoff matches. We got a while to go. But let me tell you, right now, there's nothing to complain about. I'm so damn positive. I'm so damn happy. Like, this team, like, I just want to be, go into a game and not say, well, damn, I guess we're about to get our ass kicked again. We're not there no more. Like, yeah, we may lose. We may even draw in a bad way. But right now, I have hope. Right now, I have belief. Right now, I have thoughts that, you know what? This team has a chance. And that's all you want is a chance. Going into each game, going into the whole situation. You want them to have a chance. Four points after two. Last year, we only had one after two. So we're three points ahead of where we were last year. We were a point ahead of where we were last year, last week. So, so far, incremental jumps. Game three, that was Columbus was a draw. Then we beat Miami. So, after four, we had five points. Five points. We get one more point. We equal what we had last year through three. We win, we're way ahead. If we, if we win four, <laughs> well, we're way ahead then. Like, you just want to keep that number going higher. Do I think we'll finish higher than 22 points? You're damn right. I think we do. Do I think we make the playoffs right now? Yes, I do. Do I think we fight our way through matches? Yeah. We're not perfect. We, we aren't. But are we in a good position to build on that? Yes, for sure. And I believe that this team will build something good. So the question is... What's next? Besides Charlotte, what's next? You know, what can they do at home opener? Will they come in four points on the road, two games, first two games of the year? Who would have thought? Nobody in their right mind would have thought that. Now, is it because Cincinnati and New England look like crap when they're playing somebody actually, someone on their level in their league? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Is it... Is Charlotte the same way? Yeah. Yeah. They're not good. They're not great. We should be fine. At home. 
Home field advantage is a big thing in this league anyway. If we get through the first three games with seven points, man, that's better than I could have even expected. I thought maybe five at best. I did not think four after two going in. Not at all. Not going into the first week. Of course, going into today, I was like, you know what? Maybe. Not going into the first week, though. The Revs, they got stonewalled. Simple. Again, they got stonewalled. Point blank, period. They did. They got stonewalled. Should they have? No. Did they have a lot of XG? Yeah, but did they convert? No. That's what matters. With that being said, again, TFC, big win, boys. Keep this going. Keep this energy going. We love it. Fight. 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 Win, great. Lose, at least you fought. Draw, at least you fought, but they won. Draw and win. They're fighting like hell. That's what I want. Dog energy. Dog energy, and they got it in spades. Keep fighting, baby. Keep fighting, baby. We're back. With that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification once subscribed. Send super chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in playlist. Share us with friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you on Tuesday for some CONCACAF Champs League action. CONCACAF Champs Cup action. Live. Double live and one RSR. I'll see you on Tuesday. See you on Tuesday. I think it's earliest and then latest but with that being said see you tuesday i'm ryan and i'm out peace let's go let's go